and welcome back. This morning on impromptuphotography.com, I released a action set that has frequency separation at two different levels and tones within it to aid you in perfecting your skin tones. Now, this video today, I'm going to show you some of the basics of it, but I'm going to make another video later, possibly yet this week, that's going to go a little bit more in depth. Uh, because the Pure Fact, there's a lot of options to this action itself. I would like to give a special thank you to Jane Cashin at Photography, Little Moments Photography, Mumu Photography, and Sue Zellers. Uh, they've been very patient with me and testing the actions that I've been writing. And at the same time, just very supportive. And also I've been blessed with some really great images. Uh, some of these that are in the videos over the next couple of months are, are theirs. And I always like to give those photographers that credit. Uh, so let's get started. When you receive your action, it's going to come to you in a zipped file. Sorry. And it's going to look just like this. All you have to do is click on that to open it. And you're going to extract it all. I've already extracted it. So I'm not going to extract it again. So the first one we're going to do in PSE for the PSE users out there. And once you have your action unzipped, you load your actions exactly the same way as Photoshop. So you would do load actions, come over to the tones action, click on it and load it. I've already have mine loaded. I just adore this image from Little Moments. It, it makes me laugh, it makes me smile, and she's, she's just a sweetheart to look at. So, what we're going to do is play the action. And it's duplicating the background layer many times due to the frequency separation layers within it. Uh, your dialog box comes up telling you to choose the general or the stronger. Paint it on with a soft white brush and adjust the opacity to your taste and liking. After your smoothing is done, then you're going to paint with a soft white brush again on any of the tone layers and adjust those to your liking. Now remember that you can take these tone layers and you can mix and match them also. In another video, I'll go into further detail of how to really get this to work at peak performance. So right now we're gonna say continue and we have to make these layers visible. So let's do that. And we're only gonna use the general smoothing. Uh, she's a child and I just don't like to edit children a whole lot because it is their personality. I believe in non-destructive editing heavily. So what I suggest is you start with a clean edit, skin being your last item that you're going to be doing, but save that clean edit as hypothetically PSD edit number one, uh, you could save it as PSD clean edit, something that you can go back to. Because of this duplicating the background so many times for the frequency separation and the skin smoothing and whatnot, it needs to be run on a merged or flattened image. Otherwise, it's going to take and throw this action all out of 
whack, the layers aren't going to remain and you might end up with a hot mess. So let's get started. Right now we can see that she has a couple of little imperfections. Also looks like she was maybe drinking Kool-Aid or eating Cheetos. And I've got a little trick up my sleeve for that in this nifty little action. So right now we're gonna clean up just a couple of little spots on her skin. We're gonna create a new layer. And we're gonna bring this layer down above the general smoothing layer. And we're gonna choose J for our healing brush. And we're just gonna, real quick, because she's a kid, we're not gonna get carried away. Because we want her to be a kid. So all in all, that looks pretty good as far as cleaning a child up. We're gonna come down to the general smoothing, choose B for brush, soft white brush, and we're gonna paint on the smoothing. We're avoiding the eyes, the nose, the nostrils. We're gonna avoid the highlights of the lips. We're gonna paint this on right quick here. And I use my backspace key to reveal my mask so I can see where I'm painting. It aids me to know if I've overstepped bounds. And it's a way of me double checking that I didn't blur out something that shouldn't be, like her eyebrow right here. So I just changed my brush to black to bring back her eyebrow and change it back to white. And paint this on real quick. And we're going to include her neck here. Also, by painting it on at 100% opacity, you're guaranteed at that point that it's going to be even throughout anything that you're painting on. So, we've got that painted on. And you can see that it still left her texture which is really nice, but I'm still gonna bring the opacity down. I'm gonna go about 66 right now. Now she's got peachy skin to begin with, so let's go with the perfectly peach. And we're gonna paint this on at 100%. And you'll see that it's lifting these shadows and lightening them up a little bit, but they're still maintaining their integrity of how the light wrapped her. And all this is doing is evening out her skin tone. We're gonna adjust the opacity once we're done. Make this on right quick. That looks pretty good right now. We're gonna bring the opacity down to about 38. What's cool about this is that there's this cooldown and it will do a little color correction, not a lot, but you can see that it's lifting the yellow tones from the Kool-Aid or the Cheetos or whatever it might have been. And that looks pretty good right there. So next what we're gonna do is come down to Perfectly Pink. We're gonna go to Multiply Mode. Now on a PC, and Windows 10 seems to be like my worst enemy, whenever I change blending modes, I'll get a ding and that's because Windows is getting confused with Photoshop Elements or Photoshop, and it's thinking we're choosing a different menu of some sort. 
So all you have to do is hit escape and it takes the focus away from the menu with it the menu that Microsoft is, is trying to find and what we really want to use. So we're going to come down to the perfectly pink here and we're going to put some pink back in our cheeks here. We're going to put a little bit on our lips. We're going to zoom out and look at this. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to bring this pink down just a hair. So, this is our before. This is our after. You don't want to bring this down just a touch. There we go. Let's do that again. Before and after. It took me two minutes. This action is quite amazing because how quickly it can increase your flow without being overpowering. So let's go into PS. Now we're going to do the same thing. This image has not been touched. Um, any of you that know me, I can't handle the limeys. I haven't done anything to this other than white balance and I brought it into PS. And I have assigned F5 to run my actions. So that's all I'm going to do is hit F5. And it's going to run the same action, same dialog box, stating that we need to choose our smoothing, general or stronger, and painting it on with a white brush. And we're going to hit continue. Now, I already know that we're not going to do much smoothing on her. She's young. And so I'm going to ch choose the general. But I do see some impurities here that I want to clean up a little bit. So I'm already clicked on the general. I'm going to add a layer again, just like we did in PS, or PSE, I'm sorry, J for my healing tool. We're just going to clean up a couple little spots here. You all are being very patient with the video. I can get carried away. And that's why I'm going to break it up into two. And that looks pretty good right now. So she's really kind of two-toned if you really look. So what I want to do is I want to try and even her out a little bit more to her skin tone. So I'm going to go with the softly warm. Again, I'm going to paint this on at 100%. Oh, helps if I have a white brush. There we go. Now I feel like that is way too light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to multiply. Again, that focus went to this layer. Just hit your escape key. Or to the mode, I'm sorry. And we're going to bring the opacity of this down. And that looks like it matches pretty nice. Now let's come in here and do our smoothing. B for brush, white brush, and paint this on at 100% opacity so that you know you're not missing any areas. And again, the same holds true in PS, that if you just hit your backspace key, your mask will come up so you can see what you're doing and where you're painting. We want to avoid the nostrils and any highlight areas because we really don't want to blur those. But I want this to be consistent throughout the image. So I am going to take it 
all the way through for her arm and chest. I'm doing a really quick job. And let's look at our skin now. And I'm gonna bring the opacity of this down just a bit because I wanna see those freckles yet. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, she has a bit of a peach tone to her. So let's try perfectly peach on her. Oh, and it works wonderfully on her. It is bringing some yellow up, but that's a color cast that I didn't deal with and I'm really not going to deal with it for the sake of the video. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because the, the reason of the video is to see the skin, not to learn about color cast today. But we'll come back to that. Now, what's cool about this is we can use portions of this action as almost dodge and burning. So I'm gonna come over to Angelic, which is a very soft beige, and I'm gonna paint this on to highlight her eyes just a little bit more and bring some of that back. And we'll go back and adjust the opacity of her skin because I want that to match a little bit better. Yeah, it's just a little too. That looks pretty good right there. Now, as I showed you in the previous video in PSE, this cooldown works pretty, pretty doggone well for soft casts. So we're gonna use a little bit of that here. And we'll bring the opacity down on it because we don't want it that strong. And again, we're going to use the perfectly pink. We're going to set that to multiply. And we're going to put some of this pink back in her cheeks. We'll adjust the opacity once we're done. Put some pink in her lips here. It's a really soft pink, so it'll complement pretty much every skin tone that I've run across. I'm seeing yellow down here. So let's just put a little bit of that down here. There we go. So it does do a little color correction, not much, but it does some. Let's look at her cheeks and her skin. Yeah, we need to bring the cheeks down a little bit. There we go. This is our before, and this is our after. Two minutes, I think is all it took me to do this. So let's go on to another one. Uh, like I had stated, I have a couple other sets that are, are being worked on right now, and I'm waiting on my testers and waiting to finalize some things. So it'll be happening within the next couple of weeks. One of them is detailed eyes, and another is color corrections, uh, overall color corrections, and skin cast corrections. So those you'll have power over just the same as what this set is doing. I'm gonna run this action real quick. And there's also another, I believe it's going to be two sets uh, regarding skin tones for all skin types. And that I'm not sure when is going to be released just yet. So she has 
incredibly beautiful skin. So I'm going to choose the general for her, B, for brush. I'm going to paint her smoothing on real quick. She doesn't need much. She has beautiful skin to begin with. There's a bit of a cast on her skin, but we're not going to deal with the casts in this video. What we're dealing with is how this action works. Now, for the darker skin, we need to get it to absorb, so to speak, the color. So what we're going to do is change our mode again to multiply. And we're going to paint this on at 100%. And see that's lifting some of that blue out because the pure fact yellow is opposite of blue on the color wheel. There we go. And again, we're going to go to angelic. We're going to use this almost as our dodge. Highlight her eyes a little bit. Just got some highlights here. We'll highlight that. Come down to our perfectly pink. Again, we're going to hit multiply. We're going to put some pink on her lips. Make that stand out just a little bit more. And we can increase the opacity on her quite a bit. There we go. And. Let's try peachy pink. And we're going to do multiply. Let's see. Oh, that brings out your skin really nice. And, you know, I'm horrible with makeup, but when I was taught to apply bronzer and whatnot, it made total sense to me the day that it was told to me is that typically bronzer is done in a figure three so if you really wanted to get in here and dodge and burn a little or basically dodge and burn a little uh, you could do it in that figure three and pretty much call it a day here let me look at the skin we're going to zoom out. That took care of a lot of the blue. Nice. This is a birthmark, and my client had asked me to leave that there, so I'm going to leave it. Her elbow looks just a tiny bit yellow right here. Let's see if this cool down while aiding that. Bring that in just a little bit. Bring the opacity down. That helped a little bit. There we go. So, this is our before, and this is our after. And it took, I don't know how many minutes, I didn't have my stopwatch set, but it didn't take us long to do all three of these. So it should speed up your workflow tremendously. And the options that are available within the action are pretty endless. Again, I will make an advanced video going into detail of taking this a little bit further with the tones that are within this already. And again, there's going to be more coming in the very near future. It'll be a couple of weeks to maybe a month. And we should have everything tested and, and ready to go for you all. I truly appreciate all your kindness and support. Any comments, thoughts in regards to development or problems maybe that you might have running this for some reason, please reach out to me. I'll 
do what I can to help you. And as always, I thank you very much and you have a great day.